入る入る。はいはいはい。OK、OK、OK、OK。OK、OK、OK。What the hell? Sorry, I just saw something suspicious. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing great. You're doing amazing, 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 amazing. You're doing amazing, amazing, amazing. Hope you're doing good, man. Hope you're doing fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Today's Bible study day, so let's just get into it. I want to read James chapter 5. So now listen, you rich people. Weep and wail because of the misery that is coming on you. Your wealth has rotted, and moths have eaten your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded. The corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire. You've hoarded wealth in the last days. Look, the wages you have failed to pay, the wages you failed to pay the workers who mowed your fields are crying out against you. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. You have lived on earth in luxury and self indulgence. You have fattened yourselves in the day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the innocent one who was not opposing you.、Mm. Be patient then, brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop, patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains. You too be patient and stand firm because the Lord's coming is near. Don't grumble against one another, brothers and sisters, or you will be judged. The judge is standing at the door. Brothers and sisters, as an example of patience in the face of suffering, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. As you know, Be count as blessed those who have persevered. You have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Above all, my brothers and sisters, do not swear, not by heaven or by earth or by anything else. All you need to say is a simple yes or no. Otherwise, you will be condemned. Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Is anyone, is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. My brothers and sisters, if one of you should wander from the truth and someone should bring that person back, remember this whoever turns a sinner from the error of the way will save them from death and cover over a multitude of sins. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get into it. So, the first part of this chapter is talking about rich oppressors who hoard wealth. You know, they're very materialistic. They don't pay their workers.、Um, they're just being gluttonous and just stingy. And it's talking about how calamity meets such individuals. It's important to be generous. So, it's not necessarily、uh, villainizing wealth or people who are wealthy. But most of the people who are wealthy and selfish, unable to put their money to good use and help people, and just, and just do good with, what the, with the blessings they've been given, you know. With tithing, for example, you give your 10% of whatever you earn, and that can go towards building the church, like, like you contribute to offering, maybe, or you contribute to a charity of your choice. You just put your money where you know that it's going to do good. It's very important to not fall into the trap of just giving money away to random people who you don't know and hoping for the best. It's very important to, to be prudent and know what your money is doing, where it's going. So sometimes you want to be involved in whatever initiative you're funding. So if you want to. Fund an orphanage. Visit the orphanage. Speak to the kids. Visit periodically just to see that things are going well. 
Because, you know, you can give your money and then just go missing and then things go wrong. People start getting mis mistreated. You know what I'm saying? Mm, so, yeah. And then, then the next part is about patience and suffering. Let me read it again because I'm forgetting what I'm saying. It's a lot here. Be patient then, brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop. Patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains. You too be patient and stand firm because the Lord's coming is near. Don't grumble against one another, brothers and sisters, or you will be judged. The judge is standing at the door. And then it goes on to talk about Job, <clears throat> how he suffered but was persevered and, 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 and was, was eventually saved. It talks about not swearing by heaven or earth or whatever. It's just literally SBS or whatever. I think it's talking about taking oaths, agreeing to do things. Don't don't swear by heaven or earth or whatever the case may be. Just that your yes be yes and your no be no. Be very simple and plain. <clears throat> you don't need to do all the extra stuff. The prayer of faith. It's talking about the the power of prayer. And our prayer is fueled by faith. And with faith, you can pretty much do anything. Jesus said, if your faith is small as a mustard seed, you can move mountains. So it's the same thing here. You're, when you pray and you have faith, you can really genuinely change people's outcomes. So yeah, I don't know if you can tell. I'm actually rambling right now. I don't even know what I'm saying. What did I say just now? I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of dozing off. I'm feeling very tired. I hope I'm not saying anything crazy. I can't really remember what I just said. Anyway, prayer, faith, all that good stuff is amazing. Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again, he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. So, it's talking about them. Again, faith can move much and do amazing things. Then it talks about how if someone wanders from the faith and you bring them back, you'll save them from death and cover over a multitude of sins. Cover over a multitude of sins. So, importance of prayer. <clears throat> Having faith. Pray every morning. For whatever it is you want in your life, pray. Pray consistently. Pray for peace. Pray for good health. Pray for your family. Pray for your loved ones. Pray for your community. Pray for your country. Pray for the world. The world needs it. And pray for people to succeed. To people to, to live together. That this whole thing. I did it again. I have no idea what I was saying. I, I, I was like, when you see me doing this, when you see me doing this, just know I'm sleepy. <laughs> should I take a nap? I'm supposed to go somewhere right now after I record, but I'm thinking I should just take a quick nap first so I can brush off some of that fatigue. Wake up rejuvenated, revitalized. Eh, I'll just go. Maybe I'll wake up later on. <laughs> Hopefully that's the case. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. You know, I like to pray that my videos. Dear Father God, thank you for the person watching this video. Thank you for making them whole and unique and guiding them on the path towards peace, prosperity, and purpose. Thank you for blessing this individual with a wonderful family who love them, take care of them, brings the absolute best out of them. Thank you that you've blessed this person with the spirit of gratitude so they can give thanks for all the wonderful things in their life. And by giving thanks, they can find peace, contentment, and purpose, purpose, purpose. Sorry, thank you. So I, I said, so I, I said thank you for the people in this person's life, and thank you for maintaining the ones that are there, and thank you for bl blessing this person with spirit of gratitude, so they can give thanks for the things in life, and by giving thanks, I can find peace, contentment, and attract even more blessings, and let your presence be felt in this person's life, so they know that you, God, that you real, that you love them, you're always going to be there for them, good health, long life, and happiness for this individual, and everyone they care about, and you might never bring, she's not bring, she's not bring. 
A minute, a minute, a minute, a minute. Apologies. Very sleepy. Whew.